Welcome to Autopolis then, ladies and gents. Uh, week four, so nearing the halfway point in the season. <clears throat> and as you saw from the qualifying order, Manny Aff got, uh, got us underway in quali with Dixon also on the front row. Uh, let's see, everyone seems to get away well. As we stream down towards the first corner, Dixon's weaving around like a nutter for some reason. Uh, but Manny Aff's going to go into the corner ahead. Well, Mr Hood might have an opportunity down into turn one. They are going to be side by side. Any other moves in the midfield? Not, uh, not particularly. Uh, I don't know what Dixon's doing. Um, answers on a postcard, ladies and gents. That would be uh, that would be very helpful. Uh, I had for me, I had a terrible quality, and uh, yeah, you're gonna, uh, you're just about to see uh, my race really go from from bad to worse. To be really honest, uh, you know, when you're just not feeling it, and that's uh, that's kind of where I am right now. We'll try and give the other guys credit where credit is due. As we go through the night, let's have a look. So Diablo bringing up the rear at the minute. And you're about to see me spear it off into the barriers. Uh, I just got uh, a bit of understeer coming into um, the long sweeping left-hander. Uh, basically, I had a bit of a shallow entry to it. Yeah, it just put too much power on shouldn't have been on the throttle as much as I was there so completely my error but uh, you know that's gonna mess me up a little bit so race over really for me before it even really started meanwhile coming down uh, coming down the hill we've got money half fighting away to Dixon I look like a little bit of uh, contact on the way down then we got to uh, Robustal Warm mid Pigib uh, Matt Elwoods uh, who after last week assumes the lead of the championship coming into this round then we got Mutt uh, Raffo, Audi, Ferry, uh, Has 91, Surfer, Diablo, and then myself. Uh, that is your order here uh, as we come towards the close of lap number one. Dixon's coming under a lot of pressure then from Robust Hood. Uh, does Robust get the move made during the last turn or does he just wait? Oh, there's, there's contact there again through the last corner. Uh, they are side by sides. Robus has got a wheel in. Uh, everyone's giving each other slipstream at the minute, so although it looks nice and tight and compact in the midfield, it's uh, going to be difficult for anyone really to make a move. Uh, Dixon's going to fight that one. Uh, and yet again, there's, there's contact on the exit of the corner this time. Uh, this is all letting Manny out for run away at the top. Uh, as Dixon goes for the move straight back again. Um, yeah, again, there's more contact there as he comes through the corners. This is like... Uh, this is letting Manny Aff run away, and it's letting everyone else catch up. So Walmid then uh, in the Samsung, uh, he's seen his opportunity to probably try and attack the Red Bull car now. Given he's all been allowed to catch back up again. Uh, as myself, yeah, uh, a couple of seconds back at least. I think it was like five or six seconds at this point I was back. So um, I'll probably get back into some cars at some point, but uh, that time is not now as Walmid. Uh, comes down. Oh, there's a car that's made a, a terrible error. Who was that? That was. Uh, who was it? Uh, was that. Was that Mutt? Uh, it was Mutt. Yeah, he got the braking wrong, so he's just. And that's really good. That's really good driving by Mutt. He just stays out of people's way, really. And uh, Dixon's gone off the circuit as well, yeah. So Mutt just avoiding a collision there. He could have easily wiped out one or two cars, but nerfed himself which is good to see uh, not good to see him nerf himself obviously but good to see the fact that the sportsmanship is alive and well uh, as Dixon just gets the hairpin turn wrong that uh, comes off the circuit and uh, he's trying to re-enter and he's side by side with uh, Audi Ferry he's a uh, Hungarian teammate so although they're in different teams in the GTTC they represent each other in outside, uh, in outside leagues has that he won in there with his power wipers going. Oh, there's some. Is that was that that lot laggy as anything then between P. Gibb 
time. Yeah, that's like there between Pigib and Diablo. As it sends Diablo's car into a little bit of a hop, skip and a jump. Welcome to GT Sport, ladies and gentlemen. That's, that's exactly what this game's like sometimes. I just I like playing a part in it, so. And the top. Uh, so a couple of cars now just starting to make a break for it. Uh, Maniaf, who had a great uh, great qualifying time, low 51s. Um, starting just to peel away in the race. He's got Robus to Hood, um, close company. Warming's not too far back even. Matt Elwood uh, sort of battled his way through, really. He kept his nose clean and just made some clear, concise moves to get up into fourth. Uh, Rafa was doing a good job at the minute in P5 with Audi Ferry in six. Uh, Audi Ferry might be looking for a move here. Uh, yeah, and uh, Rafa doesn't put up too much of a fight there, and Audi Ferry gets that move made nice and cleanly. Uh, we've got Dixon in seventh with Hasnight in one. Uh, Hasnight in one is uh, looking like he might be battling away with Sir Forever Mutt as Mutt goes for the move up the inside. That's a nice move there by Mutt. Nice and tidy. Then we've got P. Gibb. I'm not sure what... Oh, yeah, P. Gibb was... Um, his car is absolutely knackered. He was having that little bit of contact with Diablo, and Diablo now is down in P13. I don't know what's, quite what's happened to Diablo. Let's go and have a look. Yeah, he was, went off on uh, turn one. So that's, again, similar to me. That's kind of Diablo's race, maybe potentially over now. Audi Ferry's still maintaining his space ahead of Rafa. Got Dixon on the attack against Rafa as well, potentially. Dixon's on the super soft tyres, so is Audi Ferry. Uh, you would expect then uh, those on the super soft tyres will probably start to um, be feeling a bit worse for wear. Sort of from now onwards, really. They don't, they, they don't last great. Uh, most people on the softs were uh, complaining of uh, tired day after about 10 minutes or so, so the super softs are going to be even worse. And we've got uh, cars side by side then coming down the hill. Um, has that one, Surfer and Mutt. Has that one just tries to take to the escape mode, doesn't, uh, not the escape mode, just the inner apex. And I am starting to reel these guys in now because they're fighting, they're slowing each other down. So it, it is helping me out in terms of getting Potentially a couple of positions back. As I one goes uh, all agricultural there, going off the roads, and uh, for the time being, I was going to say for the time being, was ahead of Mutt, but Mutt got a really tidy line into the penultimate corner, and he's back through then into P1, uh, sorry, P9. Right, we will go and check on P1. Uh, it looks like. Uh, Rafa was going, uh, Rafa and Dixon fighting, so Dixon pulls out the slipstream. <clears throat> uh, nice clean move down into turn one. Just maybe went a little bit wide on the exit. That might give Rafa a little bit of a shot to come back at him. No, I'm not able to do it on this occasion. Uh, so yeah, I've caught up to the back of this pack now. I'm uh, right on the tail of P. Gibb. Um, although. Yeah, not really done any practice for this mate at all, so uh, this was, was learning as we were going really. Uh, just trying to feel how the tyres might be going. Uh, Subaru does just kill its front tyres. Uh, anyone who's driven in the championship will know the Subaru does not like uh, keeping its front alive, so uh, while you've got the tyres underneath you, you might as well use them. Uh, not many people thinking of a no-stop here, despite the fact um, been quite uh, difficult to make it happen. Let's see that move uh, I made on Pigib. Pigib just got on the brakes a little bit early. I um, mean, looked like a proper dive from me, but Pigib just gets on the brakes early. I'm not expecting it. Um, so, but uh, able just to make a, a move down the inside. That's uh, up into P11 now for me. Uh, next target is potentially going to be Has 91. Everyone else just starting to stream away a little bit. Now there's space between the cars. Uh, there isn't as much fighting going on, so uh, people are now just starting to, to go into their actual pace. Uh, Manny Alfred, the fastest lap of the race so far on lap 3 of 51.4. Uh, new 
newly promoted of course into the league he was in our lower league to start with uh, just purely based on his qualifying times pre-season etc but he's, uh, he's done well enough in the championship to earn himself uh, an early promotion uh, there is another driver that's done the same but he couldn't make it tonight uh, so I'm sure we'll cover him in a future league uh, future league video is uh, has that one gets the last turn just a little bit wrong there that is going to give uh, myself and P. Gibb uh, the opportunity to try and get past him. P. Gibb, though, is a really good run, so he's going to get me here uh, down into the uh, first turn. A nice move there by P. Gibb, just kept his patience and picked up two cars in one straight. So that uh, infinite decals car that is, in fact, is just looking a little bit worse for wear at the minute. It's, uh, looks like it's been through the walls. Up and back into the top ten. Meanwhile, things have calmed down elsewhere. There's sort of little gaps between all the cars now. Uh, there's no real uh, full ball fighting going on other than the uh, one made of potentially GT Raffo. Uh, there's this nice little pack here that Raffo Surf Rev. Uh, I think Mutt's back there as well. Yeah, that is Mutt's car. None of them really looking like they might be due for an overtake anytime soon. I'm still following P. Gibb around. Again, not really attacking, not really close enough to. So, absolutely no point in attacking P. Gibb at the minute. Uh, meanwhile, the battle for 8th then. This is between Surf and Mutt. Uh, sorry, this is Raffo, Surf and Mutt. Uh, this is starting to heat up a little bit. Uh, surface down the inside of Raffo. Uh, Mutt's going to try and take advantage of that because Surf had to go narrow. Um, so will uh, will Mutt manage to get anything done down into uh, what is technically turn three? Uh, no, nothing happening at the minute. A uh, really good racing between these guys. Oh, uh, like, literally not an ounce of contact. It's really clean and respectful. Just hear a car tyre squealing in pain that uh, no one's dropped any position, so it uh, looks like it should be okay. Raffo then keeping down the inside. You see, it's just getting absolutely swarmed here by. Uh, they're going to go three wide down into the hairpin. Uh, it's going to be Mutt late on the brakes. Does he go deep? He does. Raffo and potentially Surf again. The cutback made. That's uh, well held there by Raffo. Mutt might be able to rescue this though, he's got the inside line for the sweeping right-hander. Uh, takes the corner. Uh, all still going well. Surf and again, like, very similar, just held it, just held his nerve and kept it on the inside that gave him the run. Uh, but Mutt equally nice and tidy uh, on the exit of the corner and just manages to keep his position. So they are sort of as they were. me in the background just running off there again just understeer, understeer deep into the corner uh, it was happening quite a lot so these three for the entirety of a lap six uh, I've had a really close fight Raffo's going to um, be the first one to pull the trigger then he's going to go for the undercut we'll see who else um, might just pick the, the advantage like Manny, Robus, Matt Elwood um, and to a degree Audi Ferry have all got um, is they're not having to sort of fight and defend uh, which uses up an awful lot of tyres Warmid and Dixon you can see right now the tyre wear they've got um, is just from fighting so these guys are, are, are battling a lot more during the race uh, might be pushed into uh, having to stop uh, on the basis of fighting a lot more Warmid's got a lot of lag going on I didn't know he's joined the race, no one complained about it anyway. Right, so Raffo then out of the pits. Uh, has that in one also looked like he has pitted uh, maybe a lap earlier actually, so has was the first one to pull the trigger, he's not in an out lap anymore. Yeah, he pitted lap five, Raffo pitted lap six, so I wonder what that'll do for us. He's got a long way to take those tyres. Uh, he has got softs granted, but Still quite a long way to take them. Uh, so 
lots of work to be done for some of these guys. Do they, uh, if they give you in the top four, especially if you're Manny, you don't, you don't, you don't want to pay him. Mean, he's not, he's done a really good job, Manny, I have to be fair so far. Um, made a great start, got himself established at the front, and has just controlled his pace. He's never looked for one minute like he's over pushing the car. He's certainly going to help his tyres. Robus to Hood, though, he's going to go for that pit stop. Matt Wood is going to carry on. Uh, so is Audi Ferry. Uh, so is Walmid and Dixon. Uh, uh, and Lunt. Uh, so Surfer Robus, uh, myself, and P. Gibb all pile into the pits at the end of lap seven. Uh, my phone has that in one we know have already been in. Uh, so they might again nip their way past us on the exit of the pit lane. A pit stop costs you, I think it was about 30 seconds stop. But in theory, towards the end of the race, the guys that are doing no stops will really, really be hemorrhaging time around here. So the theory is that stopping is quicker. Especially if you're in a battle and you can get out and maybe do an undercut. And I think that's what Rafa was doing. He did execute that undercut. Jumped ahead of Haz, Surfer, and everyone else. Obviously, any car that didn't stop, i.e., Mutt, Dixon, Warmid, uh, none of those guys have stopped yet. So it's a matter of time to see if A, either they do stop, which if they're going to, they'll probably want to do it at the end of this lap, um, or whether they uh, brave the no stop and, uh, and go for lap. Dixon will struggle, he's got a lot more tire wear than anyone else being on the Super Softs. Uh, Audi Ferry also on the Super Softs, but managing them a little bit better. Although I'd argue we might. I don't know, we'll see. I mean, we've got 15 minutes left. So another eight laps, really. So 15 or 16 laps is going to be a lot. Uh, looking at Manny Aft's car, he's not pitting. Uh, I don't think Matt Elwood will either. No, he's not. Audi Ferry isn't. Warmid is, and so is Dixon. Uh, Mutt 36 is going to keep on trucking. Mutt again, doing a great job on his tyres. Just great tyre management by Mutt 36 there so far. So with the uh, probably last of the pit stops just coming to an end then, it's going to start getting hot and frisky in the, um, in the battle for P6 with Walmart and Raffo down into turn one. Uh, Raffo just had to cut a load of speed out there and that's allowed Dixon through. Uh, we've got Surfer Ev and P. Gibb also fighting away. Walmart just about managing to keep ahead. So uh, he's just come out of the pits, of course. So they'll be getting these tyres up to temperature. A little bit of contact there between him and Dixon. Dixon went for the uh, went for the move up the inside. But one mid immediately as that move made back. Raffo then ahead of Surfer Ev. P Gibb in that little battle as well. Surfer looking looking for a move here at Raffo as he ended up backing out of it. He's got his car position there to the left. That's a nice move there by Surfer. Uh, down the inside gets Dixon as well. Dixon expecting that. That looked like a like a bit of a late move there by Surfer. He's tidied it up on the brakes though. He made the apex. Surfer could have and get that one in for overtake of the week, my friend, because that was um that was a great move down the inside of the two cars. Oh Walmart's got it a bit wrong there, coming down the sweeping right hander. He's just about got away with it though. Dixon's looking for retribution on that uh, sneak move that just got pulled on him by Surfer Ev, but Surfer's going to have to be uh, uh, just be a little bit coy with how he defends here. Rafael looks to go a little bit deep uh, when uh, defending against P. Gibb. Surfer Ev then will need to keep the slipstream of Warmid up ahead. And any, uh, any quarters here as uh, the battle for six continues on for another lap. There is no action elsewhere. I've, uh, I've had a bit of a flick through between the breaks, so uh, 
Uh, we will go through the grid and uh, see how we are shaping up as we enter the last 10 minutes of the race, but uh, the top guys have so far no stopped, so it's going well for them at the minute. Uh, but will they start losing time? Will any of the guys that have pitted catch them? Well, I'll be honest, some of it, the, the, the problem is there's that much fighting in the midfield. Um, it's slowing them all down. Uh, or it will, anyway. Um, so probably catching the guys up ahead is going to be a bit of an issue. But we'll we'll see, we'll see what, uh, what some of the guys manage to pull out. Tyres are surely going to be uh, a lot worse for wear than if you're uh, like the Matt Elwood and Audi Ferry. I'm sure Audi Ferry was on super soft, so Dixon looks for a move down on Surf Rev. Uh, Dixon Arsic has a really good exit from the corner, fires that Subaru down the inside of Surf Rev and gets a move made on exit. So uh, it was a good move down by Dixon to get that one polished off. Uh, let's have a bit of a flick through the order then and just see who's who and where. Uh, so in P1. Uh, clear by quite a margin to be fair, it was Manny off. Uh, he's got a substantial lead over Matt Elwood. Matt's tyres are uh, significantly worse for wear than Manny, so he's starting to just drop pace a little bit. He has also got Audi Ferry for company. Uh, Audi Ferry though has very degraded tyres. Uh, Mutt 36, also one of the no-stop crew. Better tyres at the minute and could potentially get involved in that party up ahead. Uh, Robust Hood, first of the cars that has made a pit stop then in P5. He, yeah, he's got, he's one of the guys that's definitely got the opportunity to reel those guys ahead in uh, per lap, two or three seconds faster, uh, potentially. All right, then we got Warmid, who has just managed to drop the attentions of Dixon. Dixon, who. Uh, Pitted a lap or so ago, was just trying to get that move made on Warmid so we could blast off into clear air, but unfortunately Warmid just stood firm on that one. Uh, did manage to um, get back past Surf Rev after he lunged him down at the hairpin. Um, it was a great move by Surf, got two cars in one. Uh, but Dixon managed to get him back on the uh, on the exit of a subsequent turn, so um, uh, good battle in there. Then we got P giving ninth. Uh, P gives potentially getting chased down by myself. Uh, and then I've got my teammate behind me, uh, the PlayStation teammate Rafo. I think it has 91, pitted early on, don't forget, and he's, um, he's nursing those tyres. Then you've got Diablo, who's the only car out there on medium tyres. Uh, that result so far, though, is going to give him pole position for the next race, which is a wet race uh, in uh, Red Bull Ring. Plenty of possibility for stuff to happen uh, in the remaining 10 minutes of this one. So the second to fifth battle is now starting to generate a little bit of spicy heat with six minutes remaining. Um, still as it was, Matt Elwood, Audi Ferry. Oh, we've just seen Robust Hood there make a move. I was just about to come uh, into this and Robust has really reeled these guys in. I'm um, going two or three seconds a lot faster than, the, than these lot. Mutt probably knows that Robus has got his number and, to be fair, doesn't really put up much of a fight then. Um, he could potentially use Robus to catch back up to the guys ahead. Robus' next target is going to be Audi Ferry and in terms of tyre freshness, I don't know if you see the graphic bottom left hand side there. There's little uh, bits of red on Robus' tyres, that's tyre wear. So, um, Robus has got a little bit of tyre wear but there's Audi Ferries. Um, his left front, it, there's practically nothing left on it, so uh, through right hand turns he will have very little grip. Um, so Robust then going well and truly on the attack. Uh, might be looking for a move down into turn one. Um, it's a right hand turn, it's where we'll have the advantage, it's the biggest braking zone on the circuit. Uh, but Audi Ferry knows that and he's going to immediately go defensive. We will have to brake probably a little bit earlier because of his uh, worn brakes. But I can't imagine him wanting to give up a podium position. But yeah, he has to get on the brakes a little bit earlier. Uh, Robus can just use his fresher tyres and get through. Mutt's going to try and sneak through as well. Audi Ferry though with the inside line might just be able to defend this one. Uh, fairness to Audi Ferry, he backs out of it. Uh, thinks better of it and uh, we'll probably just try and get... get 
get them lot again and catch him up and uh, try and make a move back for P4, but um, better, better racecraft there. And what else have we got? We've got Surfer and P Gibb um, battling away for P8, um, trying to catch them back up again. Uh, we're all doing similar lap times, uh, maybe a couple of attempts in it really, so it's not really evolving into anything, but uh, we'll see if. Robustud has got Matt Elwood, actually. This is what's happened here. Let's just jump on board Robus. Uh, we know Matt hasn't stopped, and yeah, his tyres, you can tell, look at the grip, he's just not getting any. And the tyres are spent, and they have had enough. So Matt, yeah, he just hasn't got the grip. Uh, Robus and Ferry can just sweep up the insides. And uh, get that move up into P2 confirmed. So, um, good strategy then from Robust to Hood's team. And um, although Maniaf is way off in the distance, the gap actually between Robust and Maniaf at this point, 14.7 seconds. So, with six minutes remaining, um, unless Maniaf makes a mistake, um, that is an insurmountable gap. You will, uh, you will probably agree. So yeah, just a couple of minutes remaining. We might as well stick to this to the end. Surfer gets that. Oh, yeah, just about the brown pants moment there for Surfer. Ev. Let's just jump on board his uh, visor cam. Yeah, just gets a kick of understeer. Probably does exactly what I did, but does, does a much better job of saving it. Um, I did it on the uh, left-hander at the start of the race. Um, exact same thing. Yeah, you've got a fully loaded tyre on the side you've accelerated out of um, and it touches the grass and suddenly loses all grip and you're, you're suddenly sent into the Neverland. As you can see, Rafo's struggling with the same sort of thing. Look, uh, they just weren't wanting to turn these Subarus. Uh, they weren't enjoying it, but um, I know the race isn't over yet. I'm certainly not celebrating too early. As we can see, Mutt then going on the attack against Matt Elwood. just to keep his position but yeah Maniaf um, brilliant performance there's there's not much else that can be said like he pole position uh, fastest lap so far at this point as well the one that he set uh, on lap number three I think it was a 51.420 um, yeah lap number three he set that and he's just led the race ever since no stop so far done a great job of managing his tyres yeah, it's easy to do when you're ahead, or it's easier to do when you're ahead because you're not battling anyone. But um, it, it's still, he's still got to put himself in the position to be there. So now, well done to Maniaf. And um, providing in the next two and a half minutes he has no incidents, he will, uh, he will take the win here. Then you got Robust to Hood. Um, not necessarily chasing him down. That gap is too large, but he will be taking time out of him. Probably one or two seconds a lap. But he will be making himself safe from this little fight that's going off. Then you've got Matt Elwood, you've got Mutt. And Mutt's got the freshest tyres out of the three. Um, but saying that, it's it's like saying, what's your favourite STD? Because they're all in, pretty, in a pretty bad situation. Uh, Matt Elwood and Audi Ferry, their front lefts are absolutely tanked. Uh, Mutt's aren't as bad, but we've still got at least 50% wear. So uh, you'd argue he's not really got much of an advantage. Uh, War mid then, can he catch up to the guys ahead? So Audi Ferry uh, into the 56 is 57 the lap before that. War mid's dipping into the 53s. Uh, so we've, uh, this is the last lap now that we're coming on to. So he's got one lap to do it. Could potentially, could potentially catch, uh, catch him up. Uh, we shall see. Matt Elwood though now will be defending away to Mutt 36. Just going to try and get that move made around the outside. It is a nice move by Mutt, but he does go deep and manages just to tidy it up on the apex of the corner. Uh, elsewhere, uh, I have got ahead of P. Gibb. I can't remember. I want to say P. Gibb made, uh, had an incident. I think he did run off track. Uh, he did look at 202.1. I won't go back and have a look. I remember it happening. He just ran off track a little bit, that's all. So we got Warmid v Audi Ferry then. Uh, this is happening. Uh, 
Womit's going to try and get him around the outside, and he does. That's a nice move by Womit. Let's go back and have a look at that. So again, this is a section you need your tyres under your rear. Now this is where in qualifying you were starting really just to feel the tyres to be fair, quite early in the lap. Yeah, Audi Ferry just goes deep. So he is alongside, he's there. Hasn't got the tyres to keep the uh, keep the speed through the corner, and uh, unfortunately dips down to six. But definitely worth trying the no stop. Uh, but on the super soft tyre, yeah, it's uh, it, it was a, it was a bit of a killer that tyre. <clears throat> did not it did not enjoy life. Um, I am catching up to Surfer, but it's minimal. It's there's not a lot in it at the minute between us two. I can matter. would we'll try and get Mutt back. He's only got a couple more corners to do it. I'm going to go to Manny Aff in a moment because he's just about to uh, round the final corner. In fact, we will cut to that now and just see if Walmid actually manages to get anything done. But all grats go to Manny Aff. As we do see Walmid get past Mario Wood, we'll go and have a look at that. Yeah, all grats to um, Manny Aff. Absolutely dominant performance. So this is on roof of Walmart's car then, he's uh, just behind Matt Elwood, that's Mutt 36 in the red car you can see up ahead. Uh, yeah, nice. It's an easy move in there because the, the, the tyre difference is, is that huge. Uh, Robust Hood then, with the one-stop strategy, he managed to execute that very nicely. Uh, P2 for Robust to Hood. Mutt 36 in the end is going to come through to claim uh, P3 just ahead of Warbit, just about survived the assault. Matt Elwood 5th, Audi Ferry 6th, Dixon in 7th, uh, Surfer 8th, myself 9th. Uh, P Gibb is going to come through and finish in 10th. Is he? Yep. Uh, Rafa in 11th. Has 91 in 12th. He's not got his power wipers going right now, though. Not too sure why. And then uh, our man from down under. We've not really seen too much of him this race. Um, he does not enjoy the, uh, the Subaru. Um, I don't blame him. I don't either. Um, but hopefully, we'll see him back to his best in the next race where we'll be driving the Citroen. And he'll be on pole position for that one. So don't forget to tune in for the next video from. Uh, Red Bull Ring, and that'll be out hopefully pretty soon. Until then, take care, thanks for watching.